So I'm here with Cheyenne Gilbertson. She's an outfielder for Lower Columbia, the team that just won the uh, South Division. Um, so right off the bat, Cheyenne, what is it like to you know to have that accomplishment, you know, this your sophomore year, and, and kind of be able to celebrate that, but also go into the NWAC tournament? Um, we've been working really hard, like lifting weights, practicing as hard as we can. So that was a big accomplishment for us, and just headed to the NWAC, trying to get her done, I guess, and make it day by day till Monday. And so, you know, here we are, the season's, you have two games left. You know, what has been the most memorable part of this season, really kind of something that will stick with you for a while? The friendships I made. I, we're, this is, like, the, one of the best teams I've played for. We're really close, all of us, so. You know, and then, you know, being a center, center fielder, you know, you, you know, you come to the play and you get to see a lot, a lot of different pitching styles, that type of stuff. So how do you approach your at-bats and how do you, uh, where's things you think about or focus on? Well, I listen to my teammates that tell me what she pitches and either just if she pitches a change up I wait for it I just listen and really take it into consideration what they say. Yeah, just a little bit ago you said that you know this is one of the best teams you've ever played with um, you know going from high school at Adna not the biggest of, of schools um, but here at LCC you're playing college ball what has been the biggest adjustment you've had to make? Um, the competition is just phenomenal and the NWAC division and everybody plays hard, wants to win, so just coming out here and working hard to win. Now, to make it to the college level, you got to have someone who's pushed you along the way, kind of got you going. Who's kind of been your inspiration and kind of your, uh, your motivational factor behind you? Um, I'd have to say my parents. They, my mom's been my rock. She took me everywhere from Kelso to Colorado from my uh, select tournament. So she really wanted me to be out here and do this for her. So, yeah. And then, you know, you know, I've been around baseball and softball for a long time, and baseball and softball both are games of routines, but also superstitions. So is there any kind of routine or superstition? Some people don't like to use the word superstition because they're superstitious, but is there something that you do every game that you just have to, it just, it's just part of your, your daily activity? Oh, I have so many. Um, I wear the same bow. Um, I have the same throwing partner. I have the same, like, everyday partner. And just, oh, gosh, that's so hard. I have so many. I can go on. But, yeah, those are the three main. <laughs> I understand that. And then last question I have for you. You know, here you are at the college level, and you have a lot of little girls who um, who watch this. In fact, I have two daughters that you know, one plays softball now. What advice do you have for them as they're growing up, kind of looking at you and other players and want to be at this level? Um, just keep working hard, no matter what people tell you. Just keep working on your love work, your hitting, and always have have fun. Don't lose the love for the game. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.